Good afternoon everybody, so just in the afternoon, been round at Sheena's eh, for a wee while there, so we're just into the afternoon today and it is Wednesday, so Westkirk Weekly will be out tonight with any information that we have, um, and um, at the minute there's not really much information to give out, so um, I hope everybody's doing alright, it's very very cold outside, it's absolutely bitter, I think it's like one degree when I'm out in the car, so I um, <clears throat> hope everybody is wrapping up warm and I think most people are staying home um, to make sure that they are keeping themselves and everyone else safe. So we have been reading this week the uh, Luke chapter 1 and today we are going to read from verse 57. The time came for Elizabeth to have her baby and she gave birth to a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard how wonderfully good the Lord had been to her and they all rejoiced with her. When the baby was a week old, they came to circumcise him and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said, no, his name is to be John. They said to her, but you don't have any relative with that name. Then they made signs to his father, asking him what name he would like the baby to have. Zechariah asked for a writing pad and wrote, His name is John. How surprised they all were. At that moment, Zechariah was able to speak again and he started praising God. The neighbours were all filled with fear and the news about these things spread through all the hill country of Judea. Everyone who heard of it thought about it and asked, What is this child going to be? for it was plain that the Lord's power was upon him. John's father, Zechariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit, and he spoke God's message. Let us praise the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to the help of his people and has set them free. He has provided for us a mighty saviour, a descendant of his servant David. He promised through his holy prophets long ago that he would save us from our enemies, from the power of all those who hate us. He said he would show mercy to our ancestors and remember his sacred covenant. With a solemn oath to our ancestor Abraham, he promised to rescue us from our enemies and allow us to serve him without fear, so that we might be holy and righteous before him all the days of our life. You, my child, will be called a prophet of the Most High God. You will go ahead of the Lord to prepare his road for him to tell his people that they will be saved by having their sins forgiven. Our God is merciful and tender. He will cause the bright dawn of salvation to rise on us and to shine from heaven on all those who live in the dark shadow of death, to guide our steps into the path of peace. The child grew and developed in body and spirit. He lived in the desert until the day when he appeared publicly to the people of Israel. Amen. And God bless this reading from Luke chapter 1. And tomorrow we will hear um, the start of the story in Luke chapter 2. So take care everybody. Um, you know where we are if you need anything. Don't be stuck even if it's um, over the weekend. Just give us a wee phone if there's any problem. We'll, we'll help you out if we can. And apart from that, we will see you tomorrow. Bye.